obviously we're very excited. It's a great day for KU women's tennis uh, with the recruiting class we've signed. Um, you know, we've signed four girls uh, for this recruiting class, all are top 100 recruits. Um, the number one girl in North Carolina, the number one girl in South Carolina, the number four girl in Texas, and the number 12 girl in Georgia. So. Uh, I think even more than that, we're obviously very good talent, but we're even more excited about the type of person we ended up with, not just the player. I'll start with Caroline Henderson. She was our, our very first commit this summer. Uh, she kind of took a leap of faith and being uh, on the job only since June 21st. Uh, I've known Caroline a little while, recruited her before at my previous job. and so. Um, very uh, fortunate to get her to be the first piece of the puzzle, and I think she helped uh, with the process from there on and so Caroline's a very athletic player uh, she's had very good coaching in the past and very good fundamentally I think she's uh, of all the girls I really think college is going to suit her the best as far as her development having on court coaching that type of thing uh, just a, a great person very athletic I think she's got a lot of things that we can uh, really develop and, and continue to grow and, and once she gets realizes how good she is I think she'll even be better. Our second commit was Smith Hinton out of North Carolina. Uh, Smith was a, a really big get for us. Uh, someone that uh, tall left-hander, very uh, very developed, very good, uh, very strong game, very strong ground strokes um, and we're super excited. She's had great results. I feel like we stole her away from uh, some other schools right at the last second um, but once again another you know a great quality kid that's only going to get better. Uh, Rachel McNeely another uh, she's a South Carolina commit. Uh, Rachel's another left-hander uh, very athletic. Uh, I think her right now her best tennis is uh, as she moves forward she's got very good volleys. I think we just improve a couple little things with her and she's going to really take off in college. Uh, once again, kind of the theme of our class is a very athletic class uh, that has a lot of upside. Not that they're very good now, but I think they're going to really see their best tennis in their four years of college. And so, uh, But Rachel, once again, another one that we feel like we uh, kind of uh, took away from some other schools at the last second and very, very fortunate to get her. Summer Collins is our uh, the last recruit. Uh, from Georgia, uh, from the Atlanta area. Summer is about 6'1", very tall, very athletic, uh, has a very big serve, has a very big forehand. Um, I think her game, um, along with Caroline, I think her best tennis is, is really ahead of her. I think she will now have the time to grow into her body, get a little stronger. Um, and, you know, definitely, I think she'll do uh, she'll develop really well from the competition she's going to get daily in college and so on, really focusing on tennis. And So as I said, the, the ex most exciting part about this is that we, we got four quality uh, people on top of being great recruits and so uh, we're very excited about that. I think the biggest thing was getting a, you don't have, being our first recruiting class, starting a little late, uh, June, June 21st, first day on the job. A couple of these girls I had recruited a little bit before, so I had a little bit of a previous relationship. A couple that we didn't. Um, with that being said, I think the number one thing was I wanted high character kids, high moral kids that uh, could really build our, our, you know, what we hope to build around, and so build our program around and and go on top of the the great kids we already have on our team. And so uh, definitely didn't want anyone that I was worried about that was going to be. Uh, any kind of issues, those types of things, and also very athletic. I think that's the, the second thing, um, was just an athletic player that I think uh, has the opportunity to develop, and um, I think maybe we're, in some people's minds, maybe we're a year or two away from being able to get the, the blue chip type kids. Um, I sit here very comfortable with the ones we just got and, and believe they'll, they'll have great college careers and, and help us, you know, get back to prominence like KU Tennis has been in the past. The exciting thing also is that we, uh, we think we have, a, we have one more scholarship to give. Had a great class so far. Uh, there's a, a couple girls where we have a pretty far along with and we're excited to see what happens in the next few days with that and I think we've got a couple other girls that are really going to help our program that have decided to come and join our team also. So uh, we may end up with a class of 
anywhere from six to eight girls uh, coming in, and I think that's a great first step uh, in rebuilding what we're trying to.